Okay, this is my uh, instrument panel from my Zenith uh, CH750 STOL. Uh, it's the engine now has 137 hours on it, 137 trouble-free uh, hours flying. Um, I built the instrument panel myself. It's actually a, uh, an overlay over the top of the the, the, the the instrument panel metal that they provide. I actually put a 50 thousandths aluminum sheet cut out to the shape of the instrument panel and then I put carbon fiber over the top of that. That's why the instrument panel looks real nice. But one nice feature is it's all hinged. So if you need to work on the back of the panel or or take something in or put some, take something out, um, you just take there's five bolts that the, the panel will fold down so you can work on the back of the panel. So you don't have to go in upside down and try to see what you're doing. But, uh, what I've got is a Dynon Sky View. It's a 10-inch uh, uh, Sky View model. Um, uh, I've got uh, all the the uh, flight information, engine information, and moving map all on the uh, the screen. Um, I've got uh, backup instruments. I've got uh, a small two-inch uh, uh, airspeed indicator, a small two-inch altimeter, and then there's a there's a, a compass up on top. Those are just backups. I don't intend to use them unless this totally fails. In fact, because I learned using using the steam gauges, I purposely wanted to force force myself to use the uh, the, uh, the, 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 the digital panel here, the uh, glass panel. Uh, works great. Uh, we've had this plane up to 7,500 feet. Uh, uh, can't say anything better about this, the setup. Uh, uh, got my flap indicator over here. My flaps are here. This is my uh, elevator trim. I put it there because I can do, I can hold on to the throttle and, and trim out the pressures while, while, I, while I'm using that hand for the throttle. So that's the reason it's there. Even though the indicator is up here, the actual adjuster is down here. It's just the way I wanted it, so that's why it's there. Um, got your standard carb heat and choke, a backup uh, hour meter, Hobbs meter. These are all the uh, we pre-bought this uh, these these pieces here from Aircraft Spruce. Uh, this is a uh, shows if there's a, a a blown fuse that you need to reset. Uh, Perform flawlessly. They haven't had to do anything, but it shows if you've got uh, too much uh, voltage or not enough voltage on the because we're sitting here with the power on. It's showing a drain. Um, Plenty of room on the right side if I wanted to add uh, 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 some more instruments or or, uh, or a iPad with the uh, with the weather radar. Uh, pretty much only fly in excellent weather, so really haven't found the need to have that yet. But I might add it, <coughs> add it someday. Uh, that's about it. So once again, this is the Dynon. Avionics Sky View model. I'll just take a minute to know the features. We've got yeah. cylinder temperatures here. Cylinder head temperatures, exhaust gas temperatures over here. This is my fuel quantities. Uh, this is the battery voltage, whether it's draining or 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 or, or charging. Oil pressure, oil temperature, fuel pressure. Uh, Fuel flow, uh, then the, uh, the 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 tack tack hours, engine hours, and flight hours, engine RPM. That's my transponder up there. Everything is uh, available from uh, uh, the map. If you want to go somewhere. Direct to it'll come over here. You can go. Uh, these are places if you want to see places you've been to recently, or you want to go to the nearest airport. It'll list all the nearest airports. Select one. It'll take you right there. A little magenta line will take you wherever you wherever wherever you need to go. It zooms in, zooms out. I can zoom out to show the whole state of Florida. 
zoom in to just show six mile radius from where I'm at here. On this, and this is all being controlled with this little turn knob? Yep, a little knob. Right there. All kinds of adjustments. Do you think you've hit upon all the highlights of with these avionics? Yeah, pretty much. All right. Well, we look forward to any comments. Please post any questions and we'll see if we can answer them. Once again, the Dynon Avionics Skyview.